Hey everyone, today I'm showing this washing machine I just got today. Got it from Rent-A-Center and somebody used it for a year and they returned it and they never paid it off. So the store goes and sells it, it's damaged. They're not gonna try to sell it because it has the damage on it. If someone returned it after a year, they would just give it to someone else at a smaller rate because it's used. But instead, it's only a year old, it comes with a 10 year factory warranty. I was able to get this thing for just 200 bucks. Ordinarily, it would cost 250 or $850 machine for only 200. It's always best to get it with a dent. I don't care. It's in a basement. I wouldn't even care if it was upstairs. Over here is my $10 dryer from Craigslist. You open the door, and it says 1984. It's kind of small compared to this thing's capacity, but it works perfect. From the 80s, it doesn't have any computer modules or any kind of BS that can go bad. I know these machines typically have a lifespan between five and eight years because they literally have a computer module that tells the machine to stop working after a while. And you have to have a technician come reset it, which costs a lot. Or you gotta buy a new one. That's how they get you these days with a lot of money. Just five to eight years, something usually goes wrong. And it's usually not the drive motor, which is covered in the warranty usually with the sensors but I'm hoping this right here means you can shut the sensors off because a lot of times sensors are what goes bad first they get corroded especially up here we have hard water why am I not hooking it up to this because we don't have working water we also don't have hot water these machines must have both terminals hooked up they're so technologically advanced. You can't just hook up the cold one and put a cap on this one. No, they both have to be hooked up with water pressure or it's gonna think something's wrong and not work. So to solve that, most stores sell a splitter because this is actually a very common thing to do. Only cold water. There's not many things you need hot water for unless you're trying to steam laundry with bleach or something like that. I, don't, I obviously, we don't use white clothing. That gets so dirty. I don't know why people even wear that. Now it comes over here to faucet. And look where it comes from. It comes right over here. From here. Goes in the ground. And you guys seen where my water supply comes from in previous videos. At least in the summertime, that's where it's coming from. In the wintertime, it comes from a drilled well. Yep, there's no hot water here. None of the other stuff works. But that's okay. We don't need hot water. We get fine, we got by fine for years without it. Who needs hot water? Anyways, these machines, got them probably this one here, a quarter of the price, a new one would be, less than a quarter of the price. This one right here, got for probably, I don't know, I got it for 10 bucks. I see dryers these days anywhere from 300 to 500 bucks. $200 dryer is perfect, and it doesn't have the technology that's going to break. Although when I did get it, this was all smashed. I just had to super glue it, and it's good as new. Really nice. Look at the old furnace I have here. Everything I have around here is old. I love older appliances because they're so reliable. Look at this thing. The furnace company wanted me to replace this. They said maybe you should get a high efficiency one, but they also did admit to me this one will probably last another 20 years. It's a 1998 Airco furnace, diesel powered, works awesome. And I know so many people who keep going through refrigerators every five or so years because the technology literally tells it, break down. This right here is a 1993 Amana, got it for free and it works perfect. Why would I replace it? Who cares? It's a little faded, got a few nicks, but that's why I got it for free. Nothing wrong with it. And right here, this little pizza oven was free on the side of the road. Works perfect, nothing wrong with it. Used appliance. And this microwave was free on the side of the road too. Got like five of them. If you look at my old videos, I do a whole bunch of weird experiments with them. But I put them on a different channel now because no one really wants to see those anymore. And here's where the washing machine water comes out, right into the yard.